right, good morning everyone and happy hump day. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Brian. I'm the owner operator of Boathouse Smokers down here in Ascension Parish, Louisiana. I got a cooker on the shop floor this morning that I wanted to do a video for before it gets out of here next week. Uh, this one is staying local. This one's going over somewhere around Lafayette, Louisiana. All right, so this is our Backyard Classic 360 traditional flow grill smoker combo. The chamber on this guy is 36 wide by 24 deep. Uh, it has two racks inside. The racks measure 35 by 22, I think, and then the smaller rack is uh, 35 by about 17 inches. The framing underneath this guy is three by three uh, by 12 gauge tubing. Um, you have a little wood storage rack down there. You have a little food food prep rack here on the side. Uh, the casters on this guy, you have four casters on it. Uh, two of them swivel and two of them are rigid. Uh, these are solid rubber, no flat casters. So let's get a quick look at the inside of this guy. All right, you got two racks. Uh, the rack on the bottom is bigger than the rack on the top, just the sheer design. Well, that's plenty big enough. I think you could probably get three briskets on that bottom rack. And probably two on the top rack. All right, let's get a look inside this firebox. Uh, the firebox is all quarter inch steel. Uh, it is not an insulated model. You can get this in an insulated if you want to. Uh, you got a slide out wood rack here at the bottom. But if you notice, even though it's not insulated on the roof, of all of our cookers, whether it's insulated or not, we do put an insulated top on it. And what that does, if you ever know, if you ever see those fire boxes that are not insulated, all this is going to be, it's going to be, you're not going to be able to keep any paint on it. So it's going to start to rust right away. So we double wall that top uh, so you won't have any of that problem with rust. Um, take a look on the back. Uh, you've got a little, a little dampener slide for your air intake. And we recently just started doing this. We started making our own hinges for our fire boxes. Uh, we've had problem over the years with hinges failing over time uh just due to to the fact of, of heat uh so we're gonna uh we're gonna we're gonna try to move that onto all of our cookers uh, we hadn't tested them yet on the big heavy half inch doors uh but that's coming up too so quick walk around the exhaust on this guy is uh 36 inches you do have an adapter uh, adjustable damper and you do have a, a heat collector. That's like uh, 14 inches by eight inches or something like that. And that is a four inch stack. I really like this little cooker. Guys, that's all we got on this one. Uh, please like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Uh, we're on all the major social media. We're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on TikTok. Uh, please give us a follow and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.